What's up, guys? We are live. We are here. It's the podcast time. I'm here to speak the facts, baby. Here we go. Listen, we got two conventions coming up. Um, MegaCon down south in Florida. You got the big one, C2E2 in Chicago. eBay Live. Shout out to eBay. Shout out to Reed Pop. What up, guys? Listen, the, the, again, convention after convention after convention after convention. And listen, this is an investment show, right? This is an investment show, so I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. I don't know why you guys keep buying these variants. Now, I'm not taking shots at the variant creators. I'm not. But this is an investment show. And all I could speak about is the only person making a profit on these variants are the variant creators. Because then they're going to sell them to the first person. And that's usually the the group of people from these uh, 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 selling apps that get together in groups and pool their money. And buy out the variants for their shows for the evening and the nighttime back in their hotels. And all you guys, they take you. They take you, baby. Because then you guys are paying double for what they they paid for it. And then you're stuck with it. And you guys, you, you resellers could look yourselves in the mirror and ask yourself, damn, I bought this last year. I bought this variant last year from somebody and I still can't sell it. Want to know why you can't sell it? Because people, people's eyes are opening up. They're seeing the light. They're seeing the light now. It's slowing down. They're seeing the light. It's slowing down. It's slowing down. All these apps are slowing down because people know that the power is in the palm of their hands. The apps need you to make money. You do not need the apps to make money, period. You go right on Instagram Live, you're golden. There's no fees. There's no nothing. You go, you go, you post your stuff up on the nice eBay store. Yeah, you pay selling fees, but you reach the world. You're not there sitting down in, in, in a, in a, in a, uh, in a, uh, live sale with whatever app you use or choose to use, one hour, two hours of your time, little baby niche, what do you have? 10, 20 people, maybe 40 people if you're lucky. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop believing the smoke and mirrors. Now let's talk real investments. Instead of spending the money on those variants that get stale, FOMO, right after the weekend, boom, it's done. It's like a car leaving the, the car lot depreciation. Let's talk about what comic books, what key issue comic books stand the test of time. And we're going to get right into the first one. Hulk 340, shout out Todd McFarlane. Here's a book that has been homage variant so many times. We just seen one with McNiven. Now, McNiven dropped an awesome cover. Shout out to McNiven. But homage after homage after homage, variant after variant. That's telling you something. That's telling you the original is iconic. That's a solid investment. That price only continues to stay as is and goes up. Invest, invest, invest. Put your shows Make them quality over quantity. Quality, my friends. Quality is what's going to make you succeed and stand the test of time. You guys don't have to run the gimmicks. You don't have to run the gimmicks. You don't have to put out these nonsense variants and send your little files off to the printer and print your books for four, five, six dollars each and then flip them quick for 30, 40, 50 dollars each. And then all the people that buy them get stuck with them because they're sold a dream because they believe in you guys. For some reason, they look at you guys as these little online celebrities now. It's kind of weird. And the only person that's looking in the mirror every day at yourselves is you guys. 
Why suck are the people, man? Why suck are the people? Ask yourself that question. Why suck are the people? Here we go. Hulk 340 stands the test of time. That is a solid, solid book. Another iconic cover. Now, again, rest in peace to Neil Adams. Neil Adams, I'm going to drop a couple of Neil Adams. Neil Adams, iconic artist. Artist. Legend. Let's talk about it. Superman 233, busting through the chains again. Another book that has been homage variants after variants. Get the original. Go to those bins at the Comic Cons and at your local comic shops. Dig the bins. Invest in the quality. They stand the test of time. And if you are a reseller or a flipper, I hate that word, but if you are a reseller, give your guests and your customers quality. Another iconic Neil Adams, Batman 241. Now, that one's cool because um, that has that new Batman logo. Batman 241. Another another Batman, just, just before I forget, one of my favorite covers is the Batman 156. Um, shout out to Maldoff, um, who's the who did the uh, cover art. Again, Batman is carrying Robin's body. How many covers have we seen? Pay the homage to this iconic cover. This is what I mean again. Quality. Go after the originals. You can't go wrong. Another one. Iron Man 128. Demon in a Bottle. Bob Layton. I gotta give a shout out to uh, Key King Comics. If you guys, if you guys uh, follow Key King Comics on the IG, on the Instagram, Three Kings, baby. Um, he has, he had the autograph copy by Bob Layton. Listen, again, iconic key issue comic book, Iron Man 128. And, and how can we forget King Kirby, King Kirby, Captain America 109, that iconic Captain America, the origin, the retelling of the origin. Shout out to one of my favorite artists, Jim Steranko. I could make a list of all of the iconic, original Jim Steranko books. You got, speaking of Captain America right now, Captain America 111. It, it, it's just, you, you, gotta, you gotta stick with what you know is hot and stays hot. That's what makes you a seller or a key seller stick to the basics you can't go wrong with the basics you're not selling anybody a hope dream when you sell the iconic key issues web of spider-man 32 mike zek craven's last hunt part four he's coming out of the grave shout out to tyler kirkham who did an amazing variant uh, with Venom to this cover. The original Web of Spider-Man 32. Let's talk. Let's talk. Listen, Galactus and Silver Surfer. Th- it's getting hot. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Doctor Doom is getting hot. Another iconic book is that Fantastic Four number 50. King Kirby again. Jack Kirby. This one is that classic iconic battle. Galactus versus Silver Surfer. It's the second appearance of Galactus. It's the third appearance of Silver Surfer. Again, another iconic book you cannot go wrong about. And you want to talk about an icon. Bernie Wrightson, Swamp Thing. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. How many iconic covers did Bernie Wrightson do on that Swamp Thing run? That, that iconic number nine. You got the cover with, with uh, Swamp Thing and Batman. It, it, I'm looking forward to that Swamp Thing when it comes. And I can't, oh, I can't believe I, I forgot to mention. I was talking about Jim Steranko before. I didn't even mention Nick Fury.
Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number four. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number six. Listen, guys. The list goes on and on with these great artists. These great true artists. Pencil in hand. Not that, not that, oh, let me break out my iPad and, and let me Photoshop crap. Pencil in hand. These are the iconic artists. We don't see this anymore. It's getting rare. It's getting rare. Everything is digital. And now AI. I hate AI. AI is gonna, is gonna, is gonna be, is, is, is just, is just ridiculous. AI. Man. Oh my God. Oh my God. Give, 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 give AI a shot right now. It, I, I, I just can't with AI. Another iconic. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Jim Steranko. Incredible Hulk Annual 1. The Hulk title is on his back. How many times did we see that homaged? Because these are iconic, classic books. Go after the originals, guys. Another. Silver Surfer 4. How many? Homage variants to this iconic cover. That battle. That cover. Battle. Thor and Silver Surfer. And also, too, the second appearance of Miss Fisto. We know Miss Fisto is coming. This is what I mean, guys. This this is what I mean. It, it's just you gotta, you gotta hunt down those key issue books. The values remain solid. They increase over time. Uh, Fantastic 472, speaking about um, Silver Surfer, Galactus, again, King Kirby, Jack Kirby, Fantastic 472. Th- this is what I mean, though, guys. You gotta chase down those keys. You gotta chase down those keys. Yeah, I'm talking so fast. Uh, Jim Steranko, listen, the-, the man's an iconic legend. Uh, Strange Tales 167, with that beautiful flag in the back of Nick Fury. I- icon. Iconic covers iconic covers let's talk about another book that they overkill with these homage variant nonsense batman 423 shout out to todd mcfarlane shout out to todd mcfarlane the original batman 423 another book that continues to get the homage now speaking of the homage cover And listen, McFarlane made ASM 300, iconic key. McFarlane did an homage to his own cover, that Incredible Hulk 344. Iconic covers. Iconic covers that stand the test of time. Let's talk about another one. Let's talk about another one because we got Craven movie coming. Amazing Spider-Man number 47, shout out to John Romita Sr., Craven on that cover. Amazing Spider-Man 47, get those keys, get those keys, baby, get those keys. Iconic covers, iconic covers. Let's talk about it, let's talk about another favorite artist of mine, John Byrne. And it's on my Silver Surfer Galactus list. Fantastic Four 243. That Galactus John Byrne cover. It just, just, you gotta chase these keys, guys. You gotta chase these keys. And I'm all over the place right now. I was talking about John Ramita Sr. I forgot to mention the amazing Spider-Man 55. That big Dr. Octopus face on that cover. Guys, man, let's... Let's talk about Jim Lee. Let's talk about the icon Jim Lee and Wolverine. Now, we got Deadpool 3 coming. We know Deadpool is going to fight the the uh, the time variants, the TVA. We know that there's going to be multiple versions of Wolverine. Let's talk about iconic Wolverine covers right now. Jim Lee. Wolverine 27, he's flying on that cover right at you. He's flying right at you on that cover. And going back to John Byrne, that Wolverine 17, again, flying at you with that red cover. Um, Another one, that Wolverine number 8, 
Now, we talked about Hulk. We're talking about Wolverine right now. That's that iconic cover, Wolverine and Hulk on that cover. Wolverine number eight. Wolverine 180 picking up. Wolverine 181 sales getting back up. They're getting back to normal now. Guys, man, you gotta hunt the key issues. You gotta hunt those key issues. These variants, and again, I'm not knocking these these variant creators because, listen, these men and women just trying to put food on their tables, trying to keep roofs over their heads, but there comes a point where it becomes taking advantage of this good community. It becomes taking a point of taking advantage out of the community that looks at you kind of as like these self-created app celebrities, which is kind of ridiculous, but listen, it is what it is. So why take advantage of something? Why? Sell the key issues. Sell the key issues. Don't send nonsense to the printer time and time again reprinting these variants and reprinting these homage covers and creating the same nonsense. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stick to the keys. Stick to the keys. And buyers, shame on you for always buying this stuff. Like, I see you guys, man. I see you guys. I see these resellers. They buy these variants. They think they're going to make money. They're not selling anymore. They're not. Look at two years ago with these with these variants that came out. Where are the prices at now? Two years later, one year later. Half. Literally sliced in half. People are dumping them, guys. I ain't knocking. I'm talking black and white facts. The facts are in the sales. Go, go look at eBay. Look at these whatnot shows. Uh, look at these... Uh, 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 um, what, what, what other apps are there out there, uh, right now? Pop Shop Live, uh, w- what is it? Drip, um, eBay Live is coming. eBay Live is coming. Those, those are like what? The three selling apps, right? People are barely selling these books. Barely, barely out of their teeth. And they gotta they gotta be on live for what? One, two, three, four hours? What you got? Five, ten, twenty people in a room? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's get back to the basics. We were talking about Incredible Hulk. Iconic battles. Fantastic Four 112, where he's fighting the thing. Hulk and Thing cover. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. And looking back at my list right now, Dr. Doom is getting boiling hot. Boiling hot, Dr. Doom. You guys got to get that Marvel Superheroes number 20. Dr. Doom cover. It's getting hot, guys. It's getting hot. Fantastic 457. Again, King Kirby, Jack Kirby. Fantastic 4 number 84. We're talking Dr. Doom, guys. We're talking the key issues. Get them, guys. Get them, get them, get them. These are books that stand the test of time. These are the books that everybody makes those variants up about. Guys, man, at the end of the day, the power is in the palm of your hands. Sales are realistic. Sales are black and white. Look at the sales. Look at what's selling. These books stand the test of time. Sell those keys. At the end of the day, you're going to lose money in variance. You're going to lose money buying and investing in these variants. Go after the keys, guys. Go after the original comic books. Dig the bins. Silver Age. Bronze. Copper. Look at these movies right now. All of the movies are evolving. Characters. 
first appearances. This is what you guys want to chase. If you guys are looking to invest in comic books, go after the black and white facts of what yields a profit and what stands the test of time. Happy hunting, guys. Have fun hunting your books, baby. I'll see you in the next show. Let's go.